Ike, uh, I think he tasked William Reich to get Oregon to fight. Uh, Here's Salazzo Twitter. You should take a look about why in 1955 he had a massive heart attack and he set forth, even though people smoked a lot of cigarettes in those days, they said it was from all the eating fat and so people, um, you know, did all these tests and what they did was they, they, they allowed themselves to stop eating um, eggs and saturated animal fat, which is why we're all obese today, except for some of us who, who realize that this is garbage. So this guy, I want to put together Ike, plus this guy, the William Davis interview, who witnessed uh, someone who witnessed the Roswell alien. Now, I cannot find the fingers that they that she talked about with the suction cups for the tips, but I found this one. Now, you can't see it, but it's scrubbed. But these aliens that they witnessed said that they had, on the tips of fingers, instead of a fingerprint, you got little suction cups, suction tubules, whatever, now, I want to relate this to this book called Yoga in for, your, for the West, Kundalini, by Swami Sivananda Radha. And I'm going to read you at the, the part where she talks about the gods of the earth. After the floods receded and the earth came back into being, there was upon the face of the earth a film more sweet-smelling than ambrosia. Do you want to know what was the taste of, of that film? It was like the taste of grape wine in the mouth. And at this time, the gods of the central heavens said to one another, let's go and see what it looks like now that there is earth again. So the young gods of that heaven came down into the world and saw that over the earth was spread this film. They put their fingers into the earth and sucked them. Some put their fingers into the earth many times and ate a great deal of the film. And these at once lost all their majesty and brightness. Their bodies grew heavy and their substance became flesh and bone. They lost their magic and could no longer fly and cried out to one another in dismay. Now we are in a sad case. We have lost our magic. There is nothing for it but to stay here on earth for we cannot get back to heaven. So they stayed and fed upon the film that covered the earth and gazed at one another's beauty. Then those among them that were the most passionate became women, and the, those, these gods and goddesses fulfilled their desires and pleasures in one another. And this was how it was, brethren, th that when the world began, lovemaking first spread throughout the world. It is an old and constant thing. And the gods... So that's in this book here. Okay, talking about some strange film on earth that was tasting good, but there's something strange how it said that they, they stuck their fingers in and sucked them. Did they actually suck them? Did they actually suck them or did they just stick their suction cup fingers in and eat that way? I know this is gross, but um, there's a reason why this uh, this guy here uh, became, I, I don't like the look of his granddaughter either, she looks uh, a little guilty, because he's a, he's a big part of this problem here, because he caused us to get all fat, because they took out lard out of the fryers, because he had a massive heart attack, and apparently he saw uh, the aliens, or he made some kind of a deal with them, so have a look at the Twitter called Mr. Salazzo, and have a look at that that string regarding the cigarette, like the, this this the, this whole bullshit thing with this guy named Keys, or whatever Ansel Keys. Vehemently insisted he had the answer. Okay, this guy, this this dude here, this is what we're living on. This is what made all of us hideous to look at. Do you think the animals want to see a bunch of people that are pale? That, you know, I'd rather see an acne-faced person than what we got today, which is basically this. This is what we're seeing here. Put some black-rimmed eyeglasses around this, and this is our people. This is what they look like. Pale, white, There's something very wrong here. I think they also did something to the Y chromosome. It's gone. But what is it with this alien? Are these guys, are the aliens just hapless, or are they evil? Well, evil really does not mean uh, what you think. It's, it's a result. Just like a disease is an evil. You can't blame chicken pox. Chicken pox is just chicken pox. But it, it's, it's an evil because of perhaps, uh, you know, the, the lack of sleep and the torment that it causes you. So I'm saying that aliens could be the same kind of a thing 
where we can't say they're good or evil. We don't know if they're good or evil, but the, the result of them being trapped here uh, certainly did not result in anything good because of all this, these digital screens and everything they do with their fingertips. Now we have a fingertip world. Gross! We're humans. We're not this. 